uh, extra victor 25 got that bike it is now failing to stop we're on to dirt tracks oh my god don't don't hit me guys do not hit me yo dude you want to stop oh shit Hey guys, it's your boy Dodo McGee and welcome back to another video of LSPDFR, the mod for GTA 5 where we get to play as a police officer. Today, as you might have already guessed by what's behind me, we are playing as the Rhodes Policing Unit once again and going out as a motorcycle unit. It's been a little while since we went out as a motorcycle unit, so I think it's high time we do it again as we've got these uh, new uh, BMW uh, 1200 RTs in the fleet now. Um, mixture of marked and unmarked as you can see here we're going to be taking out a marked unit here today as we'd uh, we still stand out a little bit in our high-vis jacket there isn't much on today's agenda so we're just going to get straight out there and uh, see what the day has for us we'll first let the control know that we are ready to go as always extra victor 25 show me state two copy so without further ado let's get out of here out on the roads and see what we can get involved with let's go We have a Grand Theft Auto in progress on Ooh. uh Oh that bed. sounds really sketchy high speed motorcycle chase, but yeah sure. X-ray Victor 25, show me towards. Roger that, X-ray Victor 2. It looks five. like it's literally just down here. In fact, here he is. Oh he is going some. He hasn't got a helmet. Um Uh Right, well, for the purpose of roleplay, I'm just going to pretend that he's got a helmet because, in reality, this thing would be getting stood down immediately. But, um, uh, XMX25, I've got that bike. It is now failing to stop. We're onto dirt tracks going westbound off of Panorama Drive. Speeds are currently 6 0 on a 6 0. Traffic conditions are low. Pedestrian levels are also low. Visibility is clear. Road conditions are dusty, is a dirt track. Coming along the edge of the airfield now. It is, rider is a IC3 male, heavy build, wearing a uh, black jacket, is wearing a helmet, we will uh, pretend for this. Coming around the top end of the airfield now, still heading generally westbound, and following the track around, I believe we're going to be coming out on Route 68, standby. Yep, still continuing, uh, coming past some... Uh, Tracking stuff on the offside. Oh, okay, no, still continuing. It's still heading generally westbound. Uh, running alongside West Joshua Road at the minute. Speeds are still 6 0. It's still safe to continue. Advanced motorcyclist. And we're coming out onto West Joshua Road now, and it is a left, left, and immediate right, right. We're staying on dirt tracks. Heading alongside the Zancudo River now. Still heading generally westbound. Requesting TPAC units. There we go, we'll get some TPAC units. In that. We are... So our deviation is a left left. Left at the fork. Heading up towards Route 68. There is another uh, unit, so we'll back off. Oh my god, don't, don't hit me guys. Do not hit me. Looks like we've got the STU involved there, though. And there, Octavia. Oh, it's going head on with a vehicle. Near miss. It's currently medium risk. As we would pretend if he had a, uh, a helmet on. In reality, this is very high risk. Speeds are currently 8-0 in the 6-0. Oh, near miss with a uh, motorist. He is still uh, correct side of the road. Still heading generally westbound on Route 68. Overtaking onto double white lines, almost into the barrier. He's kind of all over the road a little bit here. Not sure if he's intoxicated at this point. Overtaking all on white lines once again. Still 8-0. Still continuing westbound on Route 68. Another near miss with a vehicle. What's he doing? He keeps going on the wrong side. 
You know what, let's just for giggles, let's go in first person here. We're through the um, we're through the perpetual station, and we're out onto uh, the M1. It is a left, left, left. I've given primary to the uh, STU unmarked vehicle unit. We are still six zero in the six zero now, increasing to seven zero. Heading on Great Ocean We're going a little bit quick for Stinger, I think. It's another near miss with the vehicle. Well, right, I'm going to take for primary uh, again. Coming past the uh, suburban and the ammunition in uh, Kumash here. Speeds are holding steady at seven zero in a uh, in a six zero. Coming past, um, I think this is still uh, Kumash here, isn't it? The let's get the reg of the bike here. It is. I can't quite get close enough to see. Whoa! What's he done? He's doing all kinds of crazy maneuvers. Don't know what the, the hell that was. Let's try and get the reg here. Extra Victor 2 5, requesting a moving vehicle check. So it's Batty, uh, Quebec Charlie 1 6, Victor Papa Kilo. It's a black Batty by the looks of it. Belongs to a John Shovel. John Shovel's certainly digging himself a hole here. So we're coming back into city limits at this point. Approaching Red ATS. High risk, high risk. It's. Straight through. Traffic conditions are still low at the time being. Through another set of red LTS, keeping it at high risk now as we're into the city with this. We're currently eastbound on uh, the A2, coming along the uh, the waterfront here. He's holding it steady at seven zero. Yo, dude, Attention do you want to stop? Target heading eastbound on Del Perro Freeway. Try and get alongside him here. No, that's not what we're working. Extra Victor 2 5, requesting another T pack unit. Yeah. Roger that. See if we can get, we are still maintaining on uh, Interstate 2, heading eastbound through the city at this point. Target last seen heading eastbound. Oh, sorry, we'll Del Perro Freeway. Let's try and make some contact with him here. I'm just going to try and guide him into the barrier at this point. We've got a lot of clear road here, so let's just try and force him over. This is sketchy, this is sketchy. He's leaning against me. No, I'm going to break off because that's sketchy as hell. Right, we really need to get another vehicle in the pursuit here so that we can use some kind of vehicle tactics to get him boxed. Extra Victor 25, requesting T Pack unit. Still got the STU behind us. Assistance required on Del Perro Freeway. Oh, what was that? Roger, we're heading over now. What are we doing? Whoa! Fast, we got He's throwing some maneuvers. We've got uh, unmarked traffic uh, in the pursuit now. Kind of want some more marked units. Stand by for a variation, and he's he's staying on the motorway. I'm just going to try and push him into the barrier here, because this is ridiculous. We can't keep doing this all day. Oh, shit! Attention, all units. Target oh, no. Okay, I'm... Um, I'm alright, the bike seems okay. Oh no. I think the vehicle that we uh, we hit has carried on, so I can't exactly stop and get their details. 
There we go. Right, let's uh, let's get after them, shall we? We're wringing the neck out of this bike to try and catch up. We're at 120. We are catching up with the pursuit here, though. Attention, all units. We're over the um, over the bridge now. There you go. We're catching up here. Whoa! Don't get on the brakes suddenly, guys. Can't believe we're still in this after our crash. Right, we really need to get the stop. I think at this point, we'll have to see if we're uh, able to use Stinger because that's the only way we're going to get this done. I think. So, extra victor two five requesting Stinger. There we go. Right, let's back off. Put the rear reds on. So, oh no, what has happened here? What have you done? Right, well, it, it worked, though. Dude, get on the floor now. Get on the floor. Right, cuffs on. Right, do we want to maybe uh, cut some sirens here? Extra Victor 25, block the road. Right, okie dokie. We're causing a little bit of chaos here whilst we were getting uh, set up. But we've got traffic stopped in both directions, which is good. Um, our flipped over LPT colleagues <laughs> who did the stinger have, uh, have disappeared because uh, that was all kinds of messy. But anyway, let's deal with uh, what we've got here. Right, buddy, I'm assuming my colleagues have already told you all this, but you're almost certainly under arrest for... Um, uh, failing to stop for police, dangerous driving, and I believe also theft of a motor vehicle, because I think this came in as a, uh, as a Grand Theft Auto. So, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand all, all this? Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, do you understand all that? Shit, I agree. I really do. We are causing all kinds of chaos, aren't we? Right, what is your name, pal? He's given us his name, so let's do a pet check. Exavix is 25, requesting a person check. Uh, so this, uh, this is Dequil Dizzies, born uh, 19th of August 1979. He is a valid driver, and he's not wanted on PNC. Let's take a quick look at his record while we're here. So uh, yeah, he's never been arrested before. He's had a pre. He's got some markers for domestic violence, um, and they had a ticket for showing other than white light to the front. So not too worried about that. Um, we're going to do another check on this bike, just because. Exavix two five requesting a vehicle check. Nice and clear when saying vehicle. So yeah, um, Quebec Charlie one six Victor Papa Kilo. Vehicle license plate. Oh, he's got no insurance. Victor Paul King, a traffic I don't think that showed up before. Caution. I'm sure it was a Mr. Shovel that owned this before, because I made a stupid joke. Okay, well again, let's take a look at the uh, at the record here. Here we go. Right, so Batty, is ju it just simply doesn't have insurance. Okay, so that's interesting. And Jason West um, lives on Snorl Way. He's got a license for firearms, but other than that, he's pretty much squeaky clean other than a couple of stop searches and whatnot. I think with all the chaos that is clearly happening over there, I think I'm just going to ask for this bridge to get closed at either end and then clear this traffic. Get that lot sent around that way and turned around and then send for that lot, get them turned around and go back down the other way because it's just causing absolute chaos. Right, there we go. We're looking a little bit uh, tidier up here. Okay, so let's give this guy a search. Um... My friend, you're going to be searching section 32 of PACE. Is there anything on you I need to know about? Will I find anything? Okay, what we're going to find when I search the uh, bike, though. I have some pictures, but I just like the way the buildings look. Okay. This guy's weird. Alright, well, let's do his search. See what this comes up with.
Oh, dearie me. Oh, oh, okay. So, we've got multiple zip bags of a green flaky powder, which I'm going to assume is cannabis. Uh, a CD labelled Sandra getting undressed. Mm-hmm. Polos, bottle of rat poison. There seems to be a lot of bottles of rat poison that are coming up recently. Uh, sun cream, a pair of nitrile gloves, and a mobile phone. A pair of nitrile gloves with the other stuff that's here is a little bit weird. I don't really like that, but anyway... Uh, there's his ID card, so at least we know we've got the right person. Right, let's do this bike. Let's see what hilariously oversized object is apparently hidden in this bike. Oh no, just steel wire and a vape capsules. Why has he got steel wire? Just with with the weird voyeurism type stuff with the CD, the nitrile gloves, and the steel wire. It's just... Mm, I, I, uh, this guy's giving me the ick. So we're asking the, the obvious questions about the uh, the vehicle. Is this thing yours, dude? I don't think it is. Am I free to go? No. No, you're not free to go, dude. You're under arrest. You're going down to custody today. Has the owner given you permission to use this? Mr. West. He has? Okay. How long have you been driving it around for? You borrowed it last night. Okay. So if I get the control room to call Mr. West, he's going to say that, yes, you are allowed to drive this, huh? Well, let's give this a go. He has the owner's permission to drive the vehicle. Well, I'll be damned. Didn't this come in as a Grand Theft Auto, though? I mean, okay, we're just going to go with it. Uh, is he insured? He's not covered. Okay, well, we can at least stick him on for that. What about the MOT? Has got a valid MOT. Okie dokie. Right. Mm, okay. Next stop, then. Let's ask about the uh, the suspected cannabis that we've found on him so what is this what is this guy who bought it from said it was weed oh, okay right well at this moment of time i'm going to de-arrest you for theft of a motor vehicle but i am going to be arresting you um for possession of class b uh the same caution applies for that next up what's the deal with this cd because that's all kinds of weird what's the story with this cd I'm meeting some friends that I always take a picture of the place so I don't forget, but it's called it's called Sandra getting undressed, so who's what is in this? You know answering any questions? Yeah. I'm not surprised. Also, what's the what's the deal with the nitro gloves and the steel wire? Boosting cars? What? How are you boosting a car with a steel wire? You know what? I don't even want to know at, at this point. I'm I'm tempted to just further arrest him for voyeurism, but I don't know who Sandra is. Maybe it's a completely complicit other half, so... Right then, I think what we'll do is we'll get a... Uh, we'll get a van up here on the hurry up. Required on a just because... Um, yeah, I don't want to try and get him parking behind here. It's a little bit crowded on this side of the road. So they're coming here. Let's do his arrest record real quick. Uh, so it's going to be... He's not going to be arrested for theft. Um, criminal damage, though. Arguably. Because we did get the tyres nice and good, by the looks of it, with that stinger. But we'll leave that for now. He's not assaulted anyone. We didn't find any weapons. Drugs, however, he's going to get possession of Class B. Uh, for the cannabis. Uh, and then what else did I say? I think it was after that just traffic. So it's going to be... Uh, oh, we need to test him for alcohol. That's a very good point. We need to test to see if he's fit. Let's do that real quick before he gets taken away. Alright, last questions, buddy. Just because um, you've been involved with a number of moving to traffic offences. And you're kind of weaving all over your lanes uh, a bit. Have you been drinking at all today? Do you always do the breathalyzer test? I don't drink. Yes, I do, actually. Um, that was going to be my, uh, my very next question. You've done this before, uh, Evidently. I'm also going to be asking you to provide a sample of saliva for a drugs test. Yes, fantastic. Right, in that case then, if you turn and face me, I'll do your breathalyzer test. Let's get this done. Hi, Bo, by the way, thanks for coming out with the van. Uh, see, he's a zero for that. I'm not, we're not getting the um, notification to say he's... Uh, He's showing signs of uh, intoxication of any kind, but we'll do this as well. And poke your tongue out. Let's get a little bit of saliva for that. Just Thanks. testing for drugs as well. I'm expecting it to be zero. It is indeed zero. Okay, that's all good. So, 
let's get our arrest record back up. So we had a uh, tick box for class B and then traffic it's going to be just dangerous driving and failing to stop for police I do believe. If I miss something then I'm just an idiot but we can add it on when we get down to custody. So grab hold of him, let's bring him over here. It has also just occurred to me that this motherfucker is in sandals. Dude was running from the police. We'll pretend he had a helmet, otherwise that pursuit would have been stood down way sooner. But dude's in sandals. Right. Hop into the back for me, buddy. Mind your head on the way in. Fabulous stuff. Right, let's get that door closed then. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm so Dude, can you get out of the way? I'm just trying to make sure the door's closed. I'm not convinced that door is closed. I'm not convinced that is shut, but whatever. D what the? Jesus Christ! There we go. <laughs> right, if it, what are you ladies? I, I, I don't know which one of you is driving, but if you wouldn't mind uh, taking him down to custody. There we go. Let's get him gone. And there we go. He's going to go down to custody. Uh, let's get this bike recovered. Um, it's not actually... Let's let's take a look at our colleague's handiwork here. Yeah, it looks like you could, they got both tyres popped. So, not bad. Good effort. Right, let's um, let's get recovery for this. X-ray Victor 25, requesting recovery. There we go. Um, just for giggles, we'll get a large flatbed for it. Right, you guys can, can all go. Thank you very much for your assistance. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get it boxed a little bit sooner, but um, yeah, you can all go. There we go. They're going to clear out. That looks all kinds of broken. Is your truck okay, dude? Yeah, okay. I'll, this guy's truck looks all kinds of messed, but um, okay. We'll... Um, We'll gloss over that. I think that's going to uh, just about do us. So I'll see you guys back at the station. So guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed uh, a trip back out with the, uh, the motorcycle unit. It is always good fun to get back out on the bike. Even if I am clumsy and uh, crash it into the back of a car whilst trying to do some kind of sketchy tactics. But if you did enjoy it, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more British LSPDFR content coming every single week. I'd love to see you again for another video. But until then, thanks again so very much for watching. I've been Dodo McGee and I'll see you back on patrol.